Hello everybody! This is going to be a simpler video than my usual, but it is a type of video that I personally love watching from other YouTubers. I don't know if that makes me a nosy person or just curious, but I'm gonna do it anyway. As you probably already noticed, this is not an actual pencil case. This is actually a leather pouch that I once got from a street artist vendor in Romania. I've been using it for over two years now and it has held up very well, so I'm probably gonna continue using it. I'm just pulling things out without looking at what I'm grabbing by the way. So starting with the outer pocket, the first two things are my water brush pens. The left one is a pen toe in a size small and the right one is from Caran d'Ache in a size medium. I mostly use these when I'm drawing with fountain pens to blend the ink. Next is a tape dispenser which I use mostly in my bullet journal and then I have the only eraser I ever use as you can probably tell from the worn off label. It is the Faber Castell, I think it's called No Dust. It does have some dust but but it's, it's just one of those that sort of compiles the dust together in one longer strand. So it does, it does work and it erases beautifully. And then last thing in the pocket is a little pencil sharpener, which I have no idea of what brand this is, but it works for on the go. Moving on to the main pocket, the first thing is my Spectrum Pro HB pencil. I tend to alternate between HB and 2B depending on which one I have on hand. There's also no particular reason as as to why I use these pencils, this brand in particular, I just always have and I haven't really done much exploring beyond that. So if you have a pencil that you absolutely love and I must try, please recommend in the comments. Next is one of my fountain pens. This is the Jinghao 450 with a Noodler's Flex Nib. I don't use this one too much for drawing, although I did just use it for the moth speed paint that I uploaded on Sunday but usually this is not my drawing choice. I use this just for cursive calligraphy and the few times that I try practicing copper plate, which is not very often, but I should probably get better at that. Next is the first Micron fineliner out of two, because I know there's another one coming. This is the 0.01. This is probably the fineliner that I use the most often. You have probably noticed if you've watched any other of my videos where there is some drawing included. I use this one very often. And then for another pen that I use very often is the Uniball Signo Broad in white. That's basically my default for highlights, especially when drawing with markers, whether it's alcohol-based markers or water-based markers. I like finishing it off with highlights using this pen. And then of course the second micron, the 0 0.03, which I also use fairly often depending on the size of the piece and what part of the piece I'm doing. This one can become very handy. Then for the second fountain pen. This is the Platinum Extra Fine that I actually showed in my recent pen haul video. So I just got this one and sometimes I keep it with my bullet journal, sometimes I keep it in my pencil case. This is just where I had it today. I do sometimes like using this pen for sketching. It's not something that I've done too much as of now, but that's actually why I have this pen in my pencil case to force myself to sketch with pen more often. Then I promised this last fountain pen in the pencil case. It's my manuscript calligraphy pen. This is actually the first fountain pen I ever got when I started using fountain pens for calligraphy. I currently have it with the 4B nib, but it comes with multiple nibs. This is just the one I'm using currently. Next, I have another fine liner. This is the Sakura Pigma Sensei. It's nice, although I haven't really used it very often. I just bought it on a whim because I saw a brand that I had never tried. Well, not a brand. Sakura is, does micro as well, but I saw a type of fine liner that I had never tried, so I just wanted to try it and I don't have much of an opinion out of it because I always gravitate towards the microns or the art line pen that you'll see later on. I mean, it's good. It hasn't proven me otherwise. Next, I have this platinum brush pen. It's basically a felt brush tip pen that acts the way a fountain pen would act in that you use a cartridge or a converter in the back. I currently just have it inked with the platinum black ink cartridge that it came with, mostly because I want to use up the cartridge so then I can put whatever other color I want inside of that cartridge. But it's also a good black ink and it's this pen is actually very good for modern calligraphy hand lettering. And then speaking of brush pens that I use like fountain pens is the first one of my pen brush pens. 
This is actually a special edition from a character that I forgot the name of because it's in Japanese, but I'll put it on the screen right now if you want to look it up. I don't know if this is being sold anymore. I actually found this one in Tokyo in this store called Loft. I already loved the Pentel brush pens and I thought it was a really cool color with a cool design, so I got it. And I currently use it with Diamine Ancient Copper Ink, which if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen a piece that I did with this and a water brush pen where I drew a rose just using the sink. Next is the original Pentel Pocket brush pen that I have had for I already forgot how many years. I used to only use it with the Pentel ink that it came with, the black ink. Once my first cartridge of that ran out, I refilled it with Bad Black Moccasin. I did a video on that if you'd like to check it out as well. And then finally, we have one more fine liner. This one is from Artline. It is the 0.01. This was another impulsive purchase that I just got because I had never tried it. And I actually really like it. I have used it quite a bit also in drawings and and it's, it never smears, it's very black, it's a solid favorite of mine. And that's pretty much it. Please comment on this video if you have any questions about any of the products that I showed here, or if you have any recommendations for me, as I said earlier on. I would love to try new art supplies because every artist is obsessed with trying new art supplies, as we all know. And I'll see you next week with another video. Have a fantastic day. Bye!